Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for August 12th, 2022. Well, my goodness, we had another bullish gap up yesterday on the PPI number, but unfortunately, we didn't get much for follow through. As a matter of fact, I had mentioned yesterday, watch for the possibility of a pop and drop. We did get that. But at the same time, volume stayed very low. So I don't know that it has a whole lot of consequence in it. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. First off, there is no question at all the bulls are in control. We're pushing, 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 pushing to the upside here in the market. Now, the question that still remains um, after we've broken through resistance, kind of like we did over here, we broke through resistance, is will that resistance now um, um, prove to hold as a support level if we do start to pull back? That's the question that we'll have to wrestle with here. So watch that closely. Um, we certainly don't have to pull back. As a matter of fact, we could consolidate sideways. And the moment of the market may do just that we may just drift along here sideways a little bit we've been experiencing very light volumes um, here in the market as you can see um, even yesterday was uh, was quite light e even in its pullback there just wasn't a big energetic move by the bears there to do much of anything um, just an awful lot of chop so let's watch these support levels in the chart that'll be the next big test here can we hold these higher lows or will you know that eight and a half percent inflation rate and and um, an aggressively hawkish fed um, win the day here pushing us uh, back down here maybe a little bit of um, maybe we went a little bit too far too fast uh, thought process might come here into the market. So keep a close eye on that. Now, our technicals here in the charts certainly have improved quite a bit with our short-term moving averages up through our 50-day. But we will want to take note that we are a long ways from that 50-day moving average, and that's showing us that extension here in the market. And with that 200-day moving average above, maybe we still stretch on out, get up there and test that 200-day before we see a little bit of bearishness here. But let's watch that closely. Now, if we take a look at our, um, oops, excuse me, if we take a look at our SPY, very much the same thing where we've pressed through that resistance level and notice we've done that before we've pressed up through here but th the next test is always can we hold that area as support because if we were to lose this area right in here that would be a little bit problematic for the market um, that might bring a little bit of fear back into play and it wouldn't be really all that much of a surprise to see a little bit of rest in the market after such a big r rally up. Remember, the bulk of our earnings inspiration is now behind us. And now we're going to be facing probably details of a slowing global economy, an aggressive Fed, um, and that may temper some of these bullish spirits for a little bit. So watch carefully. Let's just make sure we can hold those support levels. And then keep in mind here again, we also have that major separation here off that 50 day moving average. And so a little bit of rest or pullback would not be out of the question. We may, we're probably going to need to get that 50 to catch up here. Um, in the chart and I still can't rule out the possibility that we could stretch on up here just to test that 200 day moving average as resistance so both of those scenarios are certainly possible um, again let's take a look at our QQQ now QQQ had been extraordinarily strong here in the market even though we've had quite a mix of results as a, as a matter of fact not all that impressive results in some of the big techs so watch that carefully we've popped through that resistance and um, 
not so strongly as to be um, extremely bullish. In fact, raising the questions yesterday with that um, little bit of a bearish engulfing candle there, that there could be uh, maybe a little bit of rest or pullback coming here in the chart. Now, none of that'll be a problem if we can hold these support levels and hold on to that trend. The only real worry is if we dip below that that's where a little bit of fear may come back in the market now let's take a look at those technicals here in this chart and you can see once again that we are kind of stretched away here from that 50-day moving average we we've just powered this thing up in a big way kind of ignoring a lot of the economic indicators out there and that's okay as long as they can prove to hold these higher levels of support. Just keep in mind we've got a 500 day and we've got a 200 day up here that could still provide some upside targets if they can continue to push, but um, it also wouldn't be um, too hard to see that possibility that we need may need a significant rest or even a pullback to um, allow that 50 day moving average to catch up. If we take a look at our Russell, IWM has been extraordinarily strong here the last few days, really pressing and holding up quite well. You can see we left a shooting star pattern here behind, kind of a topping pattern, but with volume being so extremely low, I'm not sure we can read too much into that. So taking a look at that downtrend and the this support level here in the chart, we are pretty extended in the short term. And notice that we're a long ways away from that 50-day moving average and that we did react kind of negatively as we approached that 200. Notice the 200 is crossed down through that 500. So we have still quite a little bit of bearishness here in this chart to deal with. Um, so let's see if they can continue to hold. And we're going to have to make sure that we can hold these higher lows. We're pretty extended away from that 50-day moving average. So a rest or pullback in the very near future would seem to be logical. Whether that's the case or not, I can't tell you. I'm certainly not trying to predict anything here. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX pushed down here uh, pretty substantially. And as you can see, we ended up closing the day right there around that 20 handle. And if you look across the chart here, let me go to this chart here where I've got all of these big support resistance levels drawn out. We have pressed into this um, 20 handle of support. Now, I'm beginning to believe that, well, uh, more than beginning to believe. I think we're seeing complacency here. We have let um, common sense kind of run away from us with the excitement of earnings. And the overall conditions of our market certainly are not um, all that great. And we may have a little bit of complacency here in this chart building into place. Now, that doesn't mean that complacency can't remain there. One of the things that you um, learn early on in your trading career is that markets can remain irrational a lot longer than you can remain liquid trying to fight that direction. So can the bulls continue to push this up? The answer to that is obviously yes. And we can remain complacent for a period period of time. So watch that carefully. The bulls are in control. There is no question about that. And if we take a look here, our downtrend in this chart, that we haven't had any break in that downtrend. And um, that little bit of bump yesterday really doesn't um, uh, warrant any kind of suggestion that we're um, an imminent danger of a pullback. But I will say that that complacency is raising a little bit of concern that we may have pressed this um, rally too far too fast. We need proof of some, some support um, in these charts. So watch that carefully. But I don't think there's going to be any major problem here unless we were to break above this area and hold. And then that next area of resistance up here would be up here if those bears were to come into play. So, and that's a big if. So watch that closely. Now, if we take a look at our T2122, or T2122, it continues to be pegged. And even with that pullback that filled the gaps yesterday, um, we, we were still uh, pinned up here near the top 
of the T2122. And although this is one of the longer periods that we have remained stuck up here at the top, we do there is a period right over here as you can see where we had a long a long stretch where we stayed pretty stuck at the top. Um, it usually still results in a pullback in the market. Now that pullback doesn't necessarily mean that we collapse, break the trend, or even turn bearish. What it can be is just a longer term resting consolidation. So you'll want to consider that, but I would start looking for this T2122 to start pulling back at any time. It may not happen today. We have that energy. We just want to keep Friday uh, very, very bullish and close out this week strong. But maybe start looking to next week a little bit for a little bit of that reality to kick in that inflation is still very high and the Fed is still going to remain aggressive. So watch that closely. And if we take a look at our T2107, T2107, even though we filled gaps yesterday and pulled back, notice here that T2107 didn't really lose any ground. 34% of the stocks um, holding above or getting above their 200 day moving average. And as you can see, we've got some price resistance in that chart to um, be watching. And any pullback would want to make sure that we hold some of these support levels that we have developed here in the chart. And then again, we're breaking through this downtrend. So now we need that proof that we can actually hold these levels here. Um, as support. So watch that closely at any point in time, we could start to see that little bit of a resting pullback here in the market begin. T2108 is in the same situation, but much more extended. Um, those stocks holding above their 40 day moving average, as you can see, we have stretched up here. Um, uh, this is as far as I can go back on a daily chart in T2107. Notice that I'm going all the way back here to 2017. So these are very, very bullish market periods here in the chart. And I want you to note through here that we are reaching a very extended extreme level um, in this indicator. We can certainly pop higher still, but we'll want to watch that carefully here in the chart that we've kind of reached maybe an overbaked um, upside move and a little rest or a little consolidation may be um, in the cards in the very near future. So watch that close. Um, nearly 80% of the stocks um, up here around uh, or above their 40 day moving average. So major improvement breaking the downtrend. Now we need that proof that we can actually hold these levels. If we take a look at our T2101, again, T2101, I don't think is really helping us out because we're really not seeing major momentum in the market. And let me, let me show you what I mean by that. If we take a look at our diamonds chart and I flip this to a short term chart, chart, what you're going to notice is all of the move has been in the overnight gap. So we get the big overnight gap and then we kind of went nowhere. We got the big overnight gap and then finally we had a little bit of tailing off, a little bit of pulling back. And here again this morning, we're working on an overnight gap up but we're not seeing follow through momentum in those moves. Notice right in here, overnight gap and then it just kind of tailed off and went nowhere. We're getting an awful lot of that in this rally. So um, th this last part of the rally, it seems like we're running out of that bullish momentum here. We'll want to watch that closely in case those bears find some inspiration. But um, a little bit of rest might be in, um, in play and we're just not getting that momentum follow through that you would think that we should be getting um, with the kind of bullishness that we're seeing here in the overall market. So let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. Our economic calendar, we've got a couple things here that we'll want to be paying attention to, but nothing that's in the real major market moving um, reports here this morning. We've got um, import export prices, the, the change in the US dollar, the strength in the US dollar has been helping this number out considerably. So keep an eye on that that could still come in as a bullish number supporting some upside yet today.
And then consumer confidence. We'll have to see if that consumer confidence is really improving. Remember, if the consumer is not very happy, and, and, and honestly, the consensus is suggesting we might move up a little bit, but that's it, what they're going to show is not necessarily a real happy consumer yet. Um, we still have some challenges in the market if the consumers are feeling a little bit stingy with their funds because they're struggling with the higher prices. So watch that closely today as well. After that, we'll start drifting into the weekend and who knows what happens there, but I think that um, that bullishness could hold on. I do want to suggest the possibility that we could also see the pop and drop again here this morning with the pre-market futures trying to pump us back up. If we lack momentum on that again, just watch for that possibility that we pull back. And if we were to break the lows of yesterday in the chart, we could see a little bit of acceleration of profit taking if that were to occur. Um, just people trying to take some profits, capture some gains going into the weekend. So watch carefully for that. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar here today. Now our earnings calendar, much, much lighter on the calendar today. We have uh, short of 60 companies on the calendar and probably better than half of them aren't even confirmed reports. And of those that are confirmed, most of them are very, very small cap companies that are not likely to move the market at all. So we're starting to run out of that inspiration in those earnings uh, with the bulk of our earnings or big market moving earnings behind us. There'll still be some notable reports going forward, but a whole lot less of inspiration from that. If we take a look um, at the notables that I pulled out for today, very, very small list. Take a look at BR. BR pushing up here into some resistance level. This has been exceedingly bullish here. Um, I would watch for that uh, potential pullback coming in this chart, even if the earnings are great, just because we've kind of stretched that move to the upside. Um, HNST um, might want to keep an eye on this. This is a, a little tiny guy, but most of them today are the little tiny reports. Um, breaking um, this downtrend, so that is of interest and in holding some support, so keep an eye on that. And then maybe um, SPB um, as a notable today. It looks like uh, maybe a little bit of a disappointment in their earnings report here this morning. So watch those close. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And those folks that are going through and clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving brief comments, I truly appreciate it. I apologize yesterday. I didn't get it uh, a chance I read them all and 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 got through them all <coughs> and cleared out all of the spam but um I didn't get a chance to answer those because I was at a dentist appointment with a broken tooth yesterday so I will be back on that case here today so thank you everyone that does take the time to do that and hopefully you see that these these videos are not biased. Um, um, I'm just looking at the technicals of the charts. I'm not trying to make a prediction on the day. And that is a little bit different out there that you see in other social media places. It's all about hype and prediction in one way or another. And I just want to look at the charts for what they are, not for what they want them to, what I want them to be. If we take a look at um, some stocks that are setting up, remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Um, you're gonna have to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful. Make sure every trade fits your personal tr um, risk tolerance and that you understand the why of each and every trade, what makes this a reasonable position. Never ever blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. I'm gonna point out some of the defensive sector stocks today that um, have been looking pretty good. As you guys know, I've mentioned Hormel here a couple of times. We're seeing um, there there's a considerable move going on here in some of these defensive sector and particularly food stocks. Keep an eye on that Hormel moving up here in this chart. Nice little upside trend. May have to rest a few more days in here before it's ready to go. 
but I might want to keep that on the list. We do have to recognize that there is resistance above, but watch that closely. Um, interesting um, to me is we're seeing quite a bit of this. Uh, CPB, Campbell Soup. I mean, it doesn't get a whole lot more boring than Campbell Soup, but you can see been holding a nice upside trend. Now, yesterday we had a pop and drop on the day, a bit of a shooting star pattern, and we're testing this resistance, so not a big surprise. A little rest or pullback in there might be due. Um, watch and wait for a trade like that. You might want to take a look at some of the beverage companies out there. Coca-Cola continues to hold in here and it tried yesterday to get going, pulled back a little bit, but as you can see, holding in an upside trend, a little bit of price support in there, may still have that opportunity to push on up. You might want to notice that we've just kind of slipped out from under, kind of sneaking out from underneath that little downtrend and trying to hold this higher low. So there may be that opportunity that this could soon pop up. I think it's worth keeping an eye on. You might also want to keep a pretty close eye on some of these alternative energies. Um, CCJ continues to try and go and then just pulls back. Um, I think these are um, um, reacting a lot of the commodity type prices are reacting to what's happening in the dollar but the notable parts of this chart is breaking of that downtrend the current upside trend we're holding some support levels so if this can get going you might want to keep an eye on that chart um, take a look at the healthcare sector um, healthcare has been whoops um, XLV um, healthcare has been um, quite strong here but it's interesting that we just haven't been able to get a whole lot of movement here on the XLV healthcare sector indicator we tried to pop yesterday and again pulled back but notice we have a pretty substantial pattern in here of consolidation along a bit of a su of support area so if we can get moving and if the market were to pull back again I'm not saying that it will but if it were um, what we're we're definitely going to need health care and if you look at this trend here we may be finally chopping over to that trend enough to get this moving to the upside so keep an eye on that um, other places that you may want to keep an eye on is um, some of the precious metals are starting to perk up just a little bit um, taking a look and and this would and this would translate over into any metals like uh, copper um, uh, take a look at uh, Southern Copper. It's been down here on this bottom trying to pick up just a little bit, but we're seeing FCX move up in a little upside trend. So keep an eye on some of those charts, uh, quite a few of those. I would also include into that some steel companies. If we take a look at US Steel, US Steel has been nice. So again, some of these commodity-based um, stocks moving up will also want to keep an eye on energy if US dollar is going to pull back if if the the world believes that the Fed is going to ease up on interest rate increases or other currencies around the world perk up and start increasing rates a little bit more that will weaken the dollar and if that occurs we will see these energy prices we will see natural gas prices we will see commodity prices um, move back up so keep an eye on that US dollar um, whoops this will be um, very very important now I'm guessing this is some kind of a bad tick in the pre-market so um, I wouldn't worry about that candle right at the moment but um, we've got this little downtrend going on and you can see we've broken this uptrend so watch that carefully if um, this begins to continue to weaken we'll see those commodity prices perk right back up gas prices could go right back up pretty quickly if the dollar falls so we need to hold that dollar up here if we want to keep those energy prices low so with that guys hey i went a little bit long today i want to wish you all a fantastic day thanks so much for being here take care be safe have a wonderful weekend and i wish you all a very profitable day.